smoke rising from the center of Lake Hartwell, but it wasn't a boat fire. It was an island ablaze all weekend long. This is a picture that was sent to us by one of our viewers. A 7 News reporter Nicole Ford took a trip out to that island in question and talked to some people who've lived there for years. Uh, so, Nicole, this is, of course, uh, something that folks over there have probably never really seen before, right? Well, actually, Diane, the family that I spoke with has lived on Lake Hartwell for decades, and they say that this smoke over my shoulder is something that they see on different islands at least once a year. Now they have a message for other boaters. Let's keep our lake safe and clean. The wind was whipping as Mary Boyd takes her boat out for a ride on Lake Hartwell. We love to get on the boat, but mostly just coming out to ski or float around the boat and swim. Because of her love for the lake, she says she's disappointed when destruction occurs. Wednesday, we came out water skiing and decided, let's go check out the island because when we got out, he was like, obviously on fire. The Corps of Engineers, who's in charge of the island off River Forks Park, believe the fire started Saturday. But since it presents no direct hazard to the community, they just let it burn. Oh, no. Oh, no, not another island on fire. It happens periodically. Not like every year, but, but periodically. And I always get concerned for any wildlife. If there's what people are doing, I'm very environmentally conscious. And so I want to make sure we protect our environment. Boyd says she's concerned for the air from all the smoke. And even though no cause is known, she wants people to be careful. And you need to make sure fires are out and that you don't throw out cigarettes. And it could have been fireworks, possibly, from people celebrating the eclipse. Could have been someone camping that night, didn't put their fire out correctly. And it harms everyone, people that live on the lake, people that just come here for the enjoyment because it's just not fun to go through a lot of smoke. Now Boyd and her fellow boaters must wait for the vegetation to burn up or rain to put out the flames. But she hopes the burning island is a warning to help keep Lake Hartwell clean and beautiful. And the court tells me that in the past they have worked with Forest Service Service to help put out the fire if the smoke is too thick or if it does start to endanger other communities in the area. And while they haven't posted signs, they're hoping that people don't swim or go on the island until it does burn out. Live in Anderson County, Nicole Fort, 7 News. I can imagine, Nicole, that this is something that parents are really concerned about because is, is, are these islands kind of a hangout that kids tend to go to? I'm not entirely sure if kids, but I know a lot of boaters go out there. So anyone of all ages, there's picnic tables, grills. So it's definitely a well-used island. So always be careful when you're out on the water. All right. Thank you, Nicole Ford down in Anderson County. Appreciate it.